Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project e-commerce portal and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL and uh, I am currently running this project in the Tomcat 8 server but if you have the NetBeans or the Eclipse then you can also configure this project on the NetBeans and the Eclipse so the JDK version I am using is the JDK 1.8 GRA is 1.8 and the Tomcat server I am using is Tomcat 8 <clears throat> and also uh, uh, for front-end I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript some of the jQuery library I have, I have included in this project for uh, adding the form validations and the date calendar plugin also uh, some other features has also been implemented using the jQuery so total technology stack for developing this project is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery uh, and the Java, JSP and MySQL database using is MySQL and uh, the server side technology scripting is the Java and JSP. So uh, let's start with the project functionality. So this project title is e-commerce portal and uh, and I have developed this project in JS, Java, JSP, and MySQL. And this is a mini project. It's not a major project. It's a mini project. And because uh, only one user role I have implemented in this project, that is a customer, there is no role for the admin. Miss admin can't perform any operation in this because there is no login for the admin. Only customer can uh, buy the products and make the payment. So there is no role for the admin. That's why it's a mini project. So let's start with the functionality. So this is the home page of the project. You can see these uh, are the product which are coming from the database. And uh, there are currently uh, 12 products which I have added. But if you want to add more, then you can do directly from the database if you have the knowledge of the database. So for database, I am using the PHP my admin, but you can do uh, easily from the CLI command also okay so these all products are coming from the database this is the about section so if you want to change this then you can also change the about section from the html part this is the all product section so here is the all product which we have we have added in the database will be displayed here and there is a category filter so if you click on the all items then all the product will be displayed and if you click on the dress, then only dress, and then twice, and then books. So uh, this uh, is the filter. And if you click on any of the product, then filters, then it will be filtered according to your choice. Also, if you want to see the details, then just click on that uh, item. You will be able to see the details of that items here, right? So this one. If you want to add to cart, then you can add to cart it from here also. <clears throat> this is the also the same thing which is available here is also available here and you can filter out the products from here also right so also these both are dynamic so if you want to add more categories then you can also uh, add the categories into the database and those categories will be rendered here right so as like it is same category will be displayed here and displayed here also this is the registration from where customer who doesn't have the credential will be able to register on the website from this form and this is the login part so from where customer will be able to log in inside the system this is the contact us part so this is the static part static part and i am not saving the data of this contact us part anywhere in the database right so let's start with some going to purchase some of the items so i want this one also then I'm adding it to cart. So there are two items in the cart, the, this one frog and the, this, right? So total item is 2400, right? Now I am going to add one more item, this one, and I need this two, right? So once you click on the two, then this is the two items and the cost of each product is 1170 rupees. So total cost is 2340 and the total you need to pay is 4740 items. So once you click on the receipt to check out, then it's mandated to log inside the system. 
right if you have the user id and password then log in with these your user id and password and after that you will be able to add the shipping address i am adding some of recipient address here so this is the dummy data and once you click on the proceed payment then you will get the sample payment gateway page so i am not saving any of the credentials in anywhere in the database so also this is a dummy page no uh, real transaction will be done so this is a dummy page right i have created a dummy page none of the external communication will be done from this form and just add your credit card details here and the credit card name and the month of expiry and the cvv number and once you click on the make payment you will get the order confirmation and you will con order confirmation id is 18 and these items you have ordered and the total cost of uh, order is 4740 rupees right so this is all about the rate and there is a dashboard section from where customer will be able to jump on their uh, order history this is the my order sections and if you want to check the order history then you can check it from here also this is the my account section from where customer will be able to update his account details right so name mobile password each and everything will be updated from here this is the contact us again and the more sections so one more thing i want to tell you the above menu is totally session driven menu and if you click on the logout then above menu will be changed right as you are seeing there is no um logout section there is no my order section so if you log inside the system then you will get the menu again okay so this is the session driven menu okay so it's all about my project e-commerce portal system and i have developed this project in java jsp and mysql so uh, this is not a major project it's a many project so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project also if you need the major project of this project then it's also available with me on my website or you can also search it on my youtube channel okay so don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest project technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much